Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back for another card review. So in this video, we're going to talk about one of the brand new horror stage that is coming up on the 24th of September, right? Coming as a horror stage and guess, as usual, we have a difficulty of 5 star reminiscence of Dragon, right? So let's take a look at this card, whether it's good to farm it or not. Alright, so the card here is a Light Dragon, Ranto the Castle Dragon, right? So first thing you can see that it is one big chunk of active skill description right so not sure how they're gonna fit this in the entire screen for the game right but we have dragonic pack at cd8 right so we have like uh three different kind of condition right to act uh to kind of uh, trigger upon activating his active skill right so let's take a look at the one on the left first if there's a human god or demon in the team turn 15 random runestones into enchanted runestones right if all three races are present right turn all runestones into enchanted basically a full bot convert Right, so I'm not sure whether that is going to be useful uh, for CD8 active skill, right? But uh, that is the things that you're going to trigger if you have these three races in your team, right? So next, the one in the middle, if there's a dragon, beast, or elf in the team, team attack times two for one round. If all three races are present, team attack times 2.5 instead. Right, so at this point of time, I'm not sure whether it's going to definitely trigger team attack times two because uh, Ranto himself is a dragon. Right, so there's going to be one dragon in the team and I think that's going to pretty much at least trigger team attack times 2. Right, so correct me if I'm wrong. Right, and then let's take a look at on the active skill on the right or the trigger condition on the right. If there's a Makina in the team, HP will be fully recovered and damage will be dealt to enemies regardless of defense for one round. Right, so I feel that uh, the, one, the one with the dragon beast elf and the one with the Makina is the one that is more useful. Right, so for full bot and chan, I don't think uh, CD8 is gonna be very, uh, it's gonna be worth it, right? Just to put in uh, Ranto just for that enchanted bot, right? So I believe most card out there can just do do a better job. For example, like Gon or maybe like Yusuke, they kind of enchant enchant the bot upon you know, transformation, so it's not just a use of an active skill. Right, so overall, I find that um, the middle one is pretty much fit for um, Dalof. Right, so Dalof, as you can see, as you can see uh, Dragon Beast Elf definitely Dalof playstyle right there. Right, so if you have all three races, right, so you can actually trigger 2.5 times team attack. Right, so not sure whether Dalof team actually need this, right, because Dalof um, active skill actually is a damage dealing active skill, right, plus an increase in combo as well. Right, so uh, Dalof usually. Uh, is paired with um, maybe the serious brothers like um, Fen Fenrir and maybe Pluma is another example and maybe for me I like to bring in Lady Whitebone for the elf uh, for the elf condition right so for Makina team not sure whether what kind of playstyle can this fit in right so you can actually fit Ranto in a in a Lino team Lino team setup because it Lino usually runs with Chaos as an ally or vice versa and that actually brings in a lot of different races, right? So that you can actually trigger more active skill in, in, in this in this way. Right, so another example would be Eater, right? So I, I'm, I'm sure you guys have not forgotten about Eater, the primal Greek god, right? So that actually requires you to bring in multiple races as well. And that's gonna, you know, actually help you trigger more conditions of this Ranto active skill, right? So this is a very interesting card. Let's see how this card plays out in the future. Right, so before I end the video, there is actually a team skill for Ranto as well, surprisingly. Right, so active, C uh, active skill CD for the first Ranto from the left, minus 2. And the condition is Ranto as a member, and then there's 4 races in the team. Right, so as I mentioned earlier, this um, for some of those team examples that I've mentioned, right, I think 2 of them can actually trigger CD minus 2 for this, um, for Ranto. Right, first of it will be Irta. Right, Eater team, right, definitely four more races. And then the other one is um, the Lionel Chaos setup with uh, Ranto as a member. Right, so if you're gonna run Dowlop, that's gonna be just three races to the max. So that's gonna, that's gonna leave Ranto at CD8, which is pretty long in my opinion. Right, so uh, those of you who are a fan of Eater or a fan of Lionel, right, I, I'm, I'm sure people play more Lionel than Eater nowadays. Right, you can actually use Ranto as a member right so personally before Ranto came out um I'm pairing it with Fenrir a uh, Fafner Fafner not Fenrir Fafner for a Lino team setup right so that actually helps as well and now Ranto can actually comes in to steal the limelight for, for a moment right so overall this is gonna be Ranto's 
uh, card review that right, overall I think is not that bad of a card right so you can actually give give a shot to farm it right especially this is a horror stage card which means that by hitting 22,000 points you're gonna get one Ranto skill level 10 right which means that you just have to farm two levels for Ranto and yeah probably can do it in one feat if you're lucky Alright, so overall this is going to be card review for Ranto. If you enjoyed this, do give it a like and then I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.